Hey girl, hey, it's your girlfriend, Pretty Me Down here with my very first Sephora VIB haul from their 20% um, off sale that they have. Apparently, this has been going down for years, and because I was just like so Mac, 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 I didn't really know a whole lot about Sephora until the beginning of this year. So, when I found out about it, I was like, okay, how am I going to handle this, you know, this is gonna be my own money. I didn't save for this, you know, whatever. So I put myself on a budget and I wasn't gonna spend more than two hundred dollars. So I think I did pretty well um with my very first one and um I'm really excited to share these products with you. Um excuse my hair, it looks crazy. I tried to, you know, slick them edges back a little bit. Um, but it I'll show you a picture of wit uh wit of what <laughs> my hair looked like this morning oh my gosh it was gorgeous it was to die for and by the time I took my son over to his grandparents house it was a whole nother story like it just kind of you can see I'm trying to see if you can see a little bit of the curls because I did a twist out so yeah this is what I was left with to go shopping looking crazy and all that stuff so Anyways, into the haul, just kind of wanted to explain <laughs> why my hair is looking crazy. Alright, so the first things that um, I bought here is my box. Sephora. Okay. And um, I was really, really, really excited about this 20% off sale because there were some things that I really, really wanted. But I was kind of like, okay, do I really need to get it? You know, is it something I really need or not? So, for some reason, the box came open like this, but I have fallen in love with Becca products. And I fell in love with the Evermat uh, Pour. Uh, let me see what it's called. I bought another one, just to let you know. Um, it's Evermat Poreless Priming Perfector. And you get 1.35 fluid ounces. And this stuff, I'm telling you, is like amazing with anything you can wear this underneath any of your regular foundations or whatever and it works and it's just a primer and it comes out it's just you know kind of clear or whatever and you put it on and honey when i say it sucks your face in yes ma'am it's gonna suck all your face in and it kind of um you need to make sure you put on a lot of moisturizer first because if you don't you're going to see dry spots kind of on your face and you'll have to make sure if you're not wearing a whole lot of full coverage makeup, you'll have to make sure that um, you cover that part up a little bit more than normal. So anyway, so I fell in love with that one first and then I also um, went back and I purchased after I got that. I was like, okay, I had heard about these highlighters, whatever, whatever. And so I went and purchased the Becca Champagne Gold. And oh my goodness, this is what made me. This was like the second thing I tried to Becca, and there's that, and it is amaze balls, right? So I tried those two products, and I was like, I am sold on Becca. So why not try the foundation? Let me see how the foundation works because I get oily in my T zone and um, on my nose. It, it's it's oily, and I had started my pores had started opening up because I was using the Clarisonic, and everything was just starting to show. I'm like. I gotta do something different. <laughs> so, um, I was using my Mary Kay foundation, which worked pretty well with the different things I was using. But I wanted to see what this work. And I have this Becca uh, Ever Matte Shine Proof Foundation in the color Tobacco. There we go. And I actually have it on my face now. And this matched me perfectly i ordered it off of the internet um the sephora in collierville does not have the becca products but the sephora inside of jc penny's um at centennial commons they have all of the becca products but at the time i just didn't feel like doing all that i wanted this stuff in my car i wanted to get my vib stuff done and over with so i picked tobacco based off of a couple of reviews that i read on the internet and when I tell you this is my match, honey, this is my match. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on there. That is the color there. 
and watch as I blend it in and this is just onto my hand look at that you can't even tell it looks like skin and this is the perfect color for me I am so happy that I purchased this so if you're looking for a foundation that is going to keep you matte now I've had this on since about 9 30 this morning and it's now about four o'clock so this will be a normal day of wear for me and I am still matte so this is gonna be my holy grail <laughs> and it better not run out and that was I think it was normally $40 so you know it's kind of pricey but at the same time you you get the quality that you pay for and the quality in that foundation it didn't take a whole lot it's medium coverage i used it with my beauty blender and it was amazing okay so enough with with the becca overhaul <laughs> of stuff but i did purchase another like i said another ever matte um priming protector and i purchased that one because you can never have too many of those like if i run out of the foundation i have more foundations i can use here but i'll be so you know ticked off if I don't have my stuff to keep my face matte um I also purchased another shimmery skin perfecter and I purchased this after watching the glam twins and I think a couple other girls were um talking about this because I got the champagne gold but I wanted to see what the topaz look like and so I went and I purchased the topaz and this is what it looks like and I'm going to swatch it next to that champagne gold. And that's what it looks like next to the champagne gold. And actually, let me give you a little bit more so you can really see that color there. And that that is the topaz. So I think that is going to be a perfect highlight just right there. Brief, something cute. Yes. And I cannot wait to try that. I have not tried it on yet, but I'm excited about trying it on. And then I also got the Wild Honey Blush by Becca as well. And the Songbird, when I looked at the Songbird before, it was a more of a pinky color. And I'm not a heavy blush girl. Like, I'm real big on the contouring and things like that. But as far as blush, I just haven't really got into the blushes yet. So, I wanted to do something that would be um, more of a peachy, um, golden type color right there on my cheeks. Because it looks really pretty from what I've seen before and what I like to use. So, this is the blush. Try not to get the mirror. Sorry about that. That's the blush. And then I'm just going to swatch it right there so you can see. And as you can see, it's very, very pigmented. I'm really happy with the Becca products because they are very pigmented. And you can tell the colors that are on there. And I think that'll give me a nice, subtle um, splash of color on my cheeks. So that is my Becca blush in Wild Honey. Okay, next up. I did go ahead and purchase me another brow wiz. The thing about the 20% off sale, you want to get things that you use all the time that are really going to save you or fragrances. Now, I'm not, I can keep a fragrance because I have like a lot of different ones that I like. I can keep fragrances for a long time, so I wasn't really heavy on getting any fragrances. Um, I know how to make my last <laughs> or I guess I don't use them enough. I don't know, whatever the case is, but um so I try to buy things that I know I'm going to use consistently that would save me money. So again, I brought the Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil. And this is in the color Dark Brown or Brunette. Um, I did have the color, I have the color Chocolate in my uh, Dip Brow Pomade. Yeah, my Dip Brow Pomade, I have Chocolate. So I wanted to see if I, the Dark Brown would be just a little bit better matching with my skin. Then I also purchased the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I wanted to get a new liner to try to wing out some things. I'm trying new things, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to trying to get more into the dramatic eyes. I'm a really neutral girl, so um, especially with having a kid and then working full time in the office, I try not to be overly, you know, dramatic with my eyes. So I try to keep it neutral, but 
you know, on the weekends, I want to add a little drama. I want to, you know, hey, you know, whatever. So I did buy this so I could um, work on doing my wing liner. Then I have the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Potion in Eden. And this stuff, when I tell you this works, it really works. And I absolutely love 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 this stuff when i first got it i got it in a sampler pack um from purchasing the nakeds and i fell in love with this one because it gives you that golden tint matter of fact let me just go ahead and open it up now so i can show you if i can get it open um but i was waiting on this sale to purchase this because i want to get my 20 percent off and um because they don't have the smaller version of this you have to get the the $20 version so it's not much but you know whatever so this is let me see I'll just put some right there and that came out really really liquidy maybe we need does it say shake first okay let's try to shake it up first it should not be that liquidy <laughs> okay we're gonna try this one more time okay there we go <clears throat> excuse me I do apologize I was diagnosed with bronchitis the other day ain't nobody got time for that um but still so this is the Eden and this does very well if you're gonna do like brown looks neutral looks and things like that and it keeps your stuff stay put when I tell you it stays put it really stays put so that's why I purchased that And last but not least, I got me another beauty blender because my beauty blender looks like this. <laughs> and it has looked like this since probably the second time I used it. Um, it's just, it, that's just what it is. And I do clean it and I cleanse it, but that brown spot will not come off no matter what I use. I even use the stuff that they recommend that comes with it. And that was just a waste of my money, the solid. So, um... I did just went ahead and broke down and got one of these um the black one because I felt like okay well it'd be a little bit darker you can't see the, the colors as bad on, also on this one so I just got this one and it's called the pro beauty blender in black and that is all of course everyone knows it came with this cute little bag um I'm not really sure what you would do with the bag afterwards but um this is the bag this year so you can stick all of your products down in there. They didn't really have any samples that I wanted. So I didn't even bother getting any samples of anything. Um, I was just looking to see if there was anything left in there. So no, there was not any samples of worthing. Because by the time I think, by the time I ordered, everybody that was VIB Rouge had gotten all the good samples and stuff. And there was nothing left for me. So... Um, I really am excited to get to use this stuff. I'll be doing some tutorials on how to use the highlighters and just using like a full face using the Becca products. And oh, I forgot the opal. And I did get the Shimmering Skin Perfector in opal. So I got this one in the liquid version because I wanted to see because I'm a real big like pressed kind of highlighter girl so let me just do this here and that there <laughs> that there is the opal and as you can see it I mean it does a good job I like it for the most part it gives a great highlight now I use my highlights not only for just my cheeks I'm gonna take my glasses off I use them um, up here at the top of my eye um, on my brow bone and that just sets everything off because it all matches and it makes it look really really cute so hey girl <laughs> okay well thank you guys so much for watching my haul let me know if you guys um, purchase anything else what you're looking forward to in 2015 and um, let me know if you have any video ideas I'm just getting back started so I hope you guys liked it thumbs up my videos love you guys Mwah.